had a heart labeled here, just your basic layout of the four chambers or the rooms. And the rooms of the heart, uh, the two rooms upstairs are known as atria. The plural for these words, atrium, is atria, A-T-R-I-A. And the, if you'll think about the heart as being divided into these four rooms, or you could think about it as a duplex home, where we have a right side of the duplex with an upstairs and a downstairs, and we have a left side of the duplex with an upstairs and a downstairs. And our upstairs rooms are called atria, so that on the right side of the heart, we have the right atrium, and the left side is the left atrium. And then our downstairs rooms are called ventricles. So we have a right ventricle and a left ventricle. It's important to establish when you're looking at the diagrams that it would be as though your patient were facing you. And so the directions are backwards or opposite of your own hands, meaning that your left hand is your patient's right hand, or this is the right side of the heart that you're looking at. So when you see this model, if you're looking at the heart model head on, you're looking at the patient as though they were looking uh, or they were facing you, where this would be the right side and this would be the left side. We'll tackle that in another video. So right now we've got to also establish what's coming in on the right side and what's coming in on the left side. And on the right side of the heart, we have deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood is being pulled towards the heart or flowing towards the heart through the venous system and arriving on the right side of the heart. The oxygenated blood has already come from the lungs and returned back to the heart, and now it needs to be pumped out. It gets pumped out uh, into the aorta, you may have heard of that, and goes out through the system. So we said the left side of the heart has oxygen. It is the oxygenated side. Let's talk about some ways that we can get into this uh, series of rooms and how we can leave those series of rooms. And we're going to talk about a couple of rules about the heart. So I'm going to write those rules here. The first rule I've noticed uh, that I've already told you is the patient is facing you. So if the patient is facing you, the sides uh, or the directions are opposite. So your right is their left and their left is your right. Another rule with the heart is that blood can only ever enter the heart. Blood may only enter or come into the heart upstairs. And by that, I mean the atria. So if you're blood and you're trying to get back into the heart, whether you have no oxygen or whether you have oxygen, the only way you can get into the heart is to come in upstairs. So if you think about this kind of like a, uh, I don't know, a firehouse where you uh, come in upstairs and then you slide down the pole to get to the fire truck downstairs, you can only come in upstairs and then you must go downstairs in order to leave. So that's another rule. Blood may only leave the heart via the downstairs, the downstairs chambers, meaning the ventricles. Okay, so if you want to get out of the heart, whether you want to go to the lungs or whether you want to go to the body, you may only leave through the downstairs, through the ventricles. Another idea or a rule of the heart that I like to uh, think about is that anything leaving the heart, anything leaving the heart is traveling in an artery. And it doesn't matter if it has uh, deoxygenated blood or oxygenated blood, you're probably attuned to thinking about arteries as carrying oxygenated blood, but you'll find in the heart that you can be leaving the heart and be carrying deoxygenated blood. That will make sense shortly. But the rule here is that arteries leave or go away. Think A for away. 
the heart. So they leave the heart. And veins return. The only way to leave the heart is through an artery, no matter what's in it, and the only way to return to the heart is through a vein, no matter what's in it. So put that to the side and just understand that you may only leave the heart through an artery and you may only return through a vein, all right? And then the last rule or idea to be aware of, these aren't necessarily rules, but just something to be aware of, is that blood only travels one way through the heart. It's a one-way street. So it's one way, one way street for blood and every time you leave one of these rooms, if you're blood and you leave one of these rooms, you have to close a door, what's really called a valve, but you have to close a door behind you. You're not allowed to go back through the door that you came from, meaning you can't go into the store through the exit door. You must always go in through the end door and exit through the exit door. And so we'll be thinking about this in terms of whenever you enter a room in the heart, you're going to go through a door to go to the next room. You must shut that door behind you, right? So you must shut the valve, the door behind you. So we could say it's a one-way street for blood and the door, and again, I'll put that in quotes so you know we're talking about valve, must shut behind you or behind the blood as it leaves. Now these are very non-medical terms that I'm talking in. Uh, just to make it more accessible for your brain. Right? Because we don't think in medical terms when we're first learning these things. So the best way to do it is to tell yourself a story. So here's the story. The patient is facing you. Their right is your left, their left is your right, etc. So it says here, your right is their left. Your right hand is their left side, okay? The blood can only enter the heart into the upstairs, meaning the atria. If you're blood, you can only come into the heart through the atria. You may only leave through a ventricle. So whether you need to go to the lungs or whether you need to go to the body, you can only leave the heart through the downstairs, through the ventricle. Another rule is that blood... Uh, always goes away, away from the heart through an artery. So if you're leaving the heart, you leave out of an artery. If you are returning to the heart, you come back through a vein. So you must return to the heart through a vein. Doesn't matter if there's oxygen or no oxygen in that blood. Artery is away, vein is return. The last thing you want to be aware of is that Blood is a one-way street. It goes through the heart in a particular direction and through certain, uh, certain arteries and veins that we'll talk about on the next video, but it's only allowed to go in one direction. It may not return to the chamber from where it came or from the lungs or from the body. So it's only allowed to go through and then it must shut the door or the valves behind it. Now, of course, the blood isn't shutting the valves itself. That's due to compression and the vacuum effect from the squeezing of the heart, but we're just talking in regular terms here. So we'll just think whenever you leave a room to go to the next room, you have to shut a door behind you. And when you leave a room to leave the heart, you have to shut a door behind you again. And then when you come back, you enter a room and then you're going to go from this room to this room and there's a door here. You're going to shut it and then you're going to leave this room and go out to the body and you're going to have to shut a door. And that just prevents the blood from going back into the rooms that it came from. You would know that as regurgitation. All right, let's go on to the next thing.